Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to Watts Workshop. I'm here with Steve, and we're going to learn how to make PEX connections. Hi, Dan. Steve, what do we have here? Dan, today I brought with me some pre-cut lengths of half-inch PEX pipe, some brass PEX fittings, some plastic PEX fittings, stainless steel cinch clamps, copper crimp rings, and quick connect fittings. What's so special about these fittings? Dan, these fittings are designed specifically for use with PEX pipe to make a nice, tight, clean connection. Okay, let's get started. Okay, Dan. The first one we're going to do is a copper crimp ring. You'll need a couple of things. You'll need PEX pipe, brass or plastic PEX fittings. Either one is fine, it's a personal preference. Copper crimp rings, a good quality crimp ring tool, a nice sharp tubing cutter, and a go no go gauge that comes with the tool. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is take your pipe and make sure that you've got a nice clean square cut on the pipe. Next, you want to take your copper crimp ring and slide it over the pipe, and you'll get a nice tight fit on the pipe. Take your fitting, insert it completely into the pipe to the shoulder of the fitting, and then push the fitting back towards the shoulder to within a quarter of an eighth of, uh, eighth of an inch of the shoulder. I'm going to ask you to hold that. At this point, you want to take your crimp ring tool, open it completely, and seat it around the copper crimp ring squarely. And you may have to move that crimp ring back just a little bit to get it close to the shoulder. Squeeze it all the way through, open it back up, and your crimp ring connection is complete. Steve, you mentioned the go no go gauge. Can you explain that again? Sure, Dan. The go no go gauge is just a tool to make sure that you've done a correct crimp. You look for the half inch portion of the tool, and there'll be a, a no go section and a go section. Now, what you want to do on each of your crimps is to check the no go side. The no go side should not go onto the fitting and the ghost side should go onto the fitting cleanly. That's how you know whether you've made a good connection. If either one of them don't work, you have to cut the connection out and redo it. Okay. We're going to start with our PEX pipe, our brass or plastic fittings. Instead of crimp rings, this time we're going to use stainless steel cinch clamps, our tubing cutter, and our two types of cinch clamp tool. One is a one-handled tool, one is a two-handled ratcheting tool, and I'll explain how both are used. So we start with our PEX pipe. Make sure that it's cut nice and square. Take the cinch clamp, put it over the pipe, insert the fitting. Now the nice thing about the one-handled cinch clamp tool is that it is just that one hand and it allows you to maneuver the cinch clamp and place it on the pipe. So you insert the ear of the cinch clamp, begin to use the tool, and push down on the tool until it can't go any further, and then finally, with the trigger on the side of the tool, you release the tool, and your cinch is done. Now the other type of tool is a two-handle. It's a little bit more difficult to use because you've got to use both hands and you won't have the ability to, to maneuver that cinch clamp, so you'll have to use the tool to do it. But we start with our pipe. Make sure that it's cut square. Take the cinch clamp, place it over the pipe, insert the fitting. Now this one I'm going to have you hold. Open the ratchet tool completely. Insert the ear of the cinch clamp. And you may have to wiggle this just a bit to get it into position. Once it's in position, go all the way through with the tool and the tool will release itself when the switch is done. Excellent. All finished. Alright Dan, let's move on to quick connect fittings. This is the easiest method to join PEX pipe, but it's also useful for joining copper and CPVC as well. We'll start with our PEX pipe and our quick connect fitting with our PEX pipe insert, our sharp cutters, and a pencil. So the first thing we want to do is take our pipe, Make sure that we have a good, clean, square cut. 
using the measurement guide on the fitting, mark a line from the outside of the fitting to the line. Take your PEX pipe insert, place it into the pipe, and then insert the pipe into the fitting until you reach that line. And that's your connection. That's it. That's it. Steve, thanks again for showing us the three basic types of PEX connections. Before we leave, is there any further advice you can give us? Well, Dan, a few things. One, like anything, it takes a while to get used to making these connections, so I highly recommend that the user try one of each or a few of each connection so they get used to, to how the connections are actually made. Secondly, even though PEX is widely approved in North America for plumbing service, potable plumbing service, I'd still recommend that you check with your local code authority to make sure it's approved in your area. And lastly, before you seal any fitting up in a wall, make sure that you run your leak check with either air or water to make sure there are no leaks. If there are leaks, disconnect the fitting or cut the fitting out and redo the job. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.